Welcome, guys, uh, to today's Facebook Live. Um, I am so glad that you are here watching this live. Um, I do these every single week, and currently we're in this whole marketing series um, where I am just sharing with you some of the marketing strategies that I have used that really helped grow my business. If you are a first-time watcher, um, thank you so much for watching. If you are watching the replay, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch the replay. If you have never heard of me before, my name is Heather Chen. I've actually been a, a portrait photographer running my business full time for a good few years now. And more recently, I've been coaching aspiring photographers um, and basically how to grow their business, how to create a marketing strategy that actually works and brings in consistent clients on how to confidently price themselves so they can make a profit and an income and also how to do this with a family life. So they're not always working on nights and weekends and never seeing their family. So I'm all about automating. Uh, your business where you can so that you can spend time with the people that you actually love and want to be with um, and then that you can also um, bring in home and income that blesses your family and just makes a difference um, so I'm really glad that you guys are here uh, go ahead and let me know where you are watching from um, and also just let me know about marketing and like your experience with it um, we're gonna be talking today about the one thing that you can start doing right away in your business like literally you can start doing this after the Facebook live that can make a huge impact on your business and I'm actually going to show you how to actually do this and implement it in your business um so basically, um, as I've coached photographers and as I've you know been in photography forums and Facebook group, there's this thing that always pops up over and over and over again. And basically, a lot of photographers, by and large, are so overwhelmed when it comes to marketing. Um, if that is you, go ahead and click the heart icon a couple of times. Let me know if you feel that pain of just not knowing how to put yourself out there online or at networking events, or just maybe you just feel so so um, unsure of yourself um, that maybe you lack self-confidence that you are actually somebody who can offer value to someone. If, if marketing just feels like, oh, you get this pit in your stomach and you're not really sure what to do, even though you know you want clients, you want those consistent bookings, you want to be known as the go-to photographer in your area, but you're just not sure how to get to that next level. Um, well, one, I'm really glad that you're watching this because we're going to really talk about how to actually connect with your client instantly. And I'm actually going to share with you one thing that I've been doing in my business for, for quite a few years now. And it's been something that has um, really allowed me to um, attract the type of clients that I love working with. Um, so are you guys curious to know what that one thing is? Um, let me know. Go ahead and click the heart icon if you want to know. Uh, but basically... When it comes to marketing, and we've all heard this on some level or another, some level or another, but basically your goal is to um, figure out who your ideal client is and market to that one person. And one of the things that I've noticed in the photography industry is like when you're trying to figure out your ideal client, it's all tangible items, which aren't bad. But it's like more about um, you know. It's like surface level stuff where it's like, okay, where do they shop? You know, what kind of music do they listen to? Um, what are their care like? What are their characteristics? What do they do? Th those type of things, and that's still great in knowing your ideal client. But I want you guys, and I hope this video challenges you to go a little bit deeper. Um, one of the things that you can cut through the noise, you can cut through this saturated photography market, is if you can actually speak to your ideal client on the things that really, really matter to them, the things that they don't share about with other people, the things that they try to hide about themselves the insecurity the doubt they're just you know feeling like they're gonna look so heavy on the camera and they're gonna hate every photo if you talk about those emotional triggers first in your marketing your your efforts to um, to connect with clients are gonna go a lot further um, so basically I want to show you how to show you how to do that um, basically the, the one thing that you can start doing right now is to start surveying your clients um, this means that you create uh, a simple questionnaire you can create it online and you actually send it out to your your clients or your prospect of clients and you ask them to fill it out for you um, you and the what you ask on this questionnaire is going to be super super key here you don't want it to be too long it wants to be super short because people are busy these days and they're just going to if it's super long they're not going to fill it out but I want to give you one question today that you definitely definitely want to ask on your questionnaire and basically it is 
what is your biggest challenge when it comes to then your photography niche? So I primarily photograph high school seniors. So I would ask, what is your biggest um, biggest struggle when it comes to selecting your senior photographer. If you're a wedding photographer, then you would be, you know, what is your biggest struggle when it comes to choosing your wedding day photographer? And then basically you want the, the question to be open-ended. So they're going to have, there's going to be like a little blank there and you want your clients to type in and their words and their feelings. So their words are really, really important here. And then, you know, you can ask them other things if you want to, but definitely ask that one one thing because your goal then is to find out the biggest thing that your clients are suffering with, that they're struggling with, that they um, just have maybe some shame around or, you know, some doubt around or those whatever it is that's inside of them that just makes them um, hesitant to book photos with you. That's your goal to figure out. And then what you want to do is try to use whatever it is that they're struggling with, um, be the solution to that. Um, so to give you an example, one of the things that I have found as I photograph high school seniors is they really struggle with their, their skin and their complexion. It's, it's um, a time of life where hormones are all over the place and they break out. And when they break out, they don't want to be photographed. So then I came up with a solution to that. And I created this whole um, PDF gift for them where I could show them and teach them how to take care of their skin properly so they're not breaking out. So basically, your goal right now is to find out what your client struggles with and then think about ideas about how you can actually meet that or how you can solve that problem for them. Um, so now that you know what to put in that questionnaire, um, how do you actually do this? Like, how do you make one? Um, so there's actually a few uh, free services online that you can choose. I personally use JotForm, um, JotForm.com. You can also use SurveyMonkey. Both of these are free platforms where you can go ahead and create a questionnaire um, where basically all you need is their, their name, their email, and that one important question, you know, what is your biggest struggle when it comes to, and then X, Y, Z, and then, you know, let them fill it in. If you want to ask more, that's great, but keep it short and simple. Use JotForm or SurveyMonkey, and then basically you send it to your past clients. You can send it to your email list. Ask them to fill it out. Um, if you don't have any past clients, I know a lot of you watching this are um, maybe newer photographers and you're just kind of dabbling right now and wanting to get started. If you don't have past uh, clients, that's totally fine. You can send this out to friends and family, anybody who um, kind of even slightly fits who you want to photograph. So let's say you want to be a newborn photographer and you have a friend who's pregnant, go ahead and have her fill that out. And her answers are going to be super, super important and shed a lot of light on um, how to take your, your marketing and what to actually do with it. Um, so basically, the whole point of this survey, the whole point of this questionnaire is to um, learn more about your client, learn more about their thought process and the, what they think, how they think when it comes to choosing a photographer for whatever genre that you photograph. Um, and then let me see here. I'm just going through my notes, making sure I don't miss anything. Um, let's see. Da -da. Okay, so now I'd actually love to share with you uh, how I have used surveys in my business. That first initial questionnaire is, is a great one, but I actually continue to use surveys throughout my entire client life cycle process. Um, and I'd love to share with you that because those answers have been, their answers have been really helpful as it, um, as I continue to grow my business. So let me just start from the very beginning. So then you guys can maybe take a, a little bit of this, take little tidbits here and there and start implementing them in your business. Um, so basically, if someone contacts me about senior portraits, <clears throat> I like to schedule a senior or sorry, a phone consultation with them where I get them on the phone and I ask them a couple questions, make sure it's a good fit. One of the questions that I always, always, always ask them is, you know, what inspired them to reach out to me or what inspired them to book with me? And then I'm quiet and I want them to answer that. And I want to take um, I want to really focus in on the words that they choose, because that's that basically tells me, you know, how did they find me? They're, they're actually telling me in their mind, okay, how did they first find me? And then what made them want to book with me? So I know what um, what my marketing efforts are, are working. So let me go ahead and give you an example of this. I had um, a senior reach out to me a couple of weeks ago. I scheduled a con consultation with her and her mom on the phone. And I asked them, okay, you know, what inspired you to book with me? You know, why choose me? There's there's so many photographers in our area. Why why invest your your hard-earned money with me? 
And the senior answered this, and I loved her response. Basically, it had something to do with my website and the images that I was putting forth and the words that I used. And my website was something that I really, really worked hard on. It's actually a new new website. I've only had it for a couple of months now. But I know with because of the words that she said, my website is where it needs to be because it actually drew in my my ideal client. She, this particular senior said that she researched a whole lot of photographers in my area. She spent time researching their website, and she said that mine was the one that stood out to her most. So I know that what I'm doing on my website is good, and I can keep doing that. I can keep blogging the way I'm blogging and keep having uh, the testimonials on my site, and the, the flow of it is working. So that is great news for me. Um, and, you know, you might find uh, when you ask this question with your clients, it might be through a particular person. Then you can also um, go ahead and send a nice thank you card to that person who's recommending you like crazy. Or it might be a store that you partner with and you know um, where your inquiries are coming, where your bookings are coming so you can grow that area of your business. All right. So then things are booked and, and it's it's good. Um, so now like the next questionnaire that I send them is actually their session prep questionnaire. And this is really cool, too. It, it's again, it's short, it's simple, um, but it's basically it helps me get a better idea of what my senior wants to do during her session, how she wants it to look. And I have a couple of key questions in here um, just about. Um, you know, things that she struggles with, any insecurities she has. I want to be very uh, empathetic to those. Um, and then also just things like, you know, favorite music, um, songs, uh, websites, that sort of thing. And actually doing this was actually really helpful because over and over again, I saw that my seniors, um, their favorite website is Pinterest. Now, Pinterest is not yet a platform that I really do a lot of marketing on, but it, I'm seeing more and more, a lot of my seniors are saying they spend a lot of their time on Pinterest. And that is an area where I can grow my, my business if I just have my photos up on Pinterest. And without asking them that question, I wouldn't know that I now need to spend time and energy um, putting my photos on Pinterest and then in hopes that would be another avenue for them to come see me and, and book me. Um, so that is the second question. Now, the first one, oh, I didn't mention it. So when I say questionnaires, um, it doesn't actually have to be act where your words, where you're typing it. It can definitely be face to face. Like the first one is, is during the phone consultation where I'm actually just talking with them. And just asking them a question and hearing their response. That's a great way to survey your clients is to just ask them a question, then shut up and listen to their response. The second thing is when you're when you actually have a client is a session prep questionnaire where you can find out more about who they are, their likes, their dislikes, um, and then just more about the, the type of people they are and where they spend their time. And then, you know, if you see a particular store pop up over and over again among your clients, then you know, okay, maybe that would be a good store to market with, to partner with, to do something, to work together because a lot of your clients um, like that store and maybe you can do a partnership together. Um, and then the, the next question I send, I usually do one or the other, but basically it's a session follow-up, like after their, their senior session, their portrait session, or it's after the products. It's one or the other, usually not both because I don't want to overload them. Um, but basically this, the point of this third questionnaire is to get, to get, uh, testimonials. Testimonials are amazing to use in your marketing. I have testimonials flashed all over my website. They're in my emails. They're all over the place. And basically it's because I know, you know, another senior can speak to a current senior much better than I can. A senior mom can speak to a senior mom much better than I can. I can't relate to having a, a child in in high school. So having the quote of a senior mom who says, you know, I never saw my, my daughter transform in front of the camera as she did with Heather. And she just became this beautiful, confident um, person in front of Heather's camera. That's going to hit um, the heart of the mom who's reading it because she's going to want her daughter to be confident and feel beautiful in front of the camera as well. If you are a, a wedding photographer, having quotes from your past brides about your amazing service is going to speak much more um, to your, your prospect of uh, brides who are coming in. So basically in this follow-up questionnaire, I'm basically um, kind of giving them open-ended um, questions. So basically, um, 
one of them is uh, before your session with me, how did you, I felt blah, blah, blah. And basically I have them fill it in. Um, and this helps me get to know their thought process. A lot of times they say they felt nervous because they don't know how to pose. They felt insecure because they may have broke out. They felt stressed because they have so many things going on. And that's really important to know because then I know, okay, I can also provide um, an extra layer of service and kind of try to be the solution in those areas, whatever it is they were struggling with. And then the other question I have is, after my session with Heather, I felt, and I leave it open-ended, and this is where they say, you know, beautiful, confident. Um, I've had, you know, people just rave about the experience, and that shows a transition, and that connects with, you know, what my prospect of seniors might be feeling as they're choosing a, a photographer. They might be feeling overwhelmed with the process or just not or pushing it off because they don't know how to pose in front of a camera. But if I have a testimonial that says, you know, I felt super nervous and I wasn't sure how to pose, but Heather guided me through the whole process and it was actually fun and I felt like a model, that's going to speak so much highly, so much more and more highly of the experience than just saying, oh yeah, I'll guide you through the posing. If I have another senior saying that, that's going to really hit home with the the prospect of senior. Um, so those are the three ways that I have used surveys in my business. Um, again, it's that first uh, phone consultation. I'm actually asking my um, my clients, why did they choose me to begin with? And this lets me know, this gives me information about where did they actually find me? What marketing avenue did they come in on? Um, the second one I use is just the session prep uh, questionnaire. And this is a great way to figure out where are my ideal clients going and shopping and what do they like? This gives me an excellent idea as to, far as, okay, if their favorite website is Pinterest, then I know I need to start putting more of my work on Pinterest. And then the third questionnaire is the follow-up one. And the point of that one is to get testimonials because testimonials can um, really change the trajectory of your business. You can use them in uh, in so many different ways. And I use mine, in again, in emails and um and just on my website, in my brochures, in my magazine, they're all over the place. And it's going to really allow my past clients to connect with my prospective clients. And it really just shows social proof that I am a good photographer for them to choose. I mean, if they see all of these testimonials, that's just more evidence that like, okay, she's going to be cool to work with. She's going to help me through this whole posing awkward phase. Um, and that's the point of them. Um, so basically using surveys, um, and questionnaires can really, really shed light on how to market your business and actually what to what to do in your business, where to actually spend your time and energy and effort. Um, so if you haven't used surveys yet, um, I so suggest that you try them. Again, go to JotForm or SurveyMonkey. You can set one up for free. Ask that one simple question to all your past clients, all your prospective clients is what is your biggest struggle when it comes to X, Y, and Z. Um, and then in them with your current clients, start implementing these uh, various questionnaires throughout the entire process. And you'll be collecting all of this information, all of this data. You can actually use the words that your clients have spoken um, and use it in future marketing uh, campaigns and how you speak to prospective clients. Like when I'm talking to a, a prospective uh, senior, I can use, okay, you know, many of my past clients felt X, Y, and Z when they book with me, but after their session, they then feel blah, blah, blah. Um, so I can definitely connect with my clients a lot um, on the level that they, um, re on that emotional level where it's more than just the pictures, is I actually get the, um, what it's like to go through this process. And I know what my client thought process is as they're going through this process. So if you liked this video, um, if this live, go ahead and click the heart icon. I would love for you to do that. Um, Facebook for some reason really likes it. Um, so go ahead and click the heart icon. If you have any questions about surveys in particular, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. I'd be happy to answer them. Um, and then, you know, definitely keep staying tuned. I have a lot of good stuff coming out in the next couple of weeks and I don't want you to miss out. Um, so if you um, haven't yet, go ahead and click the get reminder button that you see on these Facebook lives and then you'll be notified when I actually go live. Um, and then also if you're not part of the aspiring photographer uh, Facebook community, I encourage you to join. I'll go ahead and leave the link to that uh, in the comment section as well. So you can just click on that after the live and come join us in there. We dive a lot deeper into to marketing and more specific pricing and product information 
information in that group. Um, so if you're an aspiring photographer, we'd love to have you there. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, go ahead and leave me some hearts and love and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.